Okay, so we outside today. We're at this place to get chopsticks. Um, get custom chopsticks, actually. So we've already had like chopsticks from this place, but they're old, so we're here to get some new ones. So that's what we're gonna do. I can't remember the name of the place, but we're still we're, we're, we're somewhere in the countryside you know a little remote type of place is that thunder and lightning me here is it thunder yeah. it's thunder right yeah. listen we were trying to just utilize the the good weather <laughs> but luckily the place that we're at actually has like shelter once we get underneath there so we can just stay underneath there and kind of like just chill out but baby it sounds like it gonna rain it wasn't supposed to rain we're supposed to at least have two days of no rain but you can't trust the Google app. You don't know all them something they go. You know you can't trust Google. Google schmogle. No sir. It is hot. So <laughs> hubby is a little bit annoyed right now because there was this restaurant that he wanted to eat at, but they're closed. They said they were gonna close at five, they close at three. So I don't know, things have changed. So he's trying to figure out what we're gonna eat because we haven't eaten lunch and it's literally lunchtime right now. So we're just trying to figure that out. <laughs> he is way down there upset. Midnight and trials. Trials and tribulations. If the quality is different, it's because I'm on my phone and he has the big camera so he can get like really good B-roll. We need to have two cameras. That's what I'm, you know, but right now I don't, I'm not in the mood. Cause I already have the Sony ZV-1 and I didn't like it. I still have it. So maybe I'll start using that for like myself, you know, instead of my phone. But the, I feel like the phone gives really good quality and it makes you look good. <laughs> so we'll see. But at the same time, you're still getting the videos. You're still getting the videos. Like these iPhones, like they really do give good quality. So I'm not tripping. But he has a big camera and I'm kind of just a little bit just a little bit jealous because that's my baby. I bought it for me But let him have it. Let him have a little toy too, you know Share the load because he gets really good b-roll. So let him have that <laughs> Even though we went shopping for my lens That was his lens child That was for him. That was not for me. Look at him down there stressed out stressed out and annoyed Looking for food. <laughs> Somebody, anybody. Ooh. Look how pretty that is. That is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. And then you have all the, these are homes, y'all. Like their back, their back, uh, the back of their yard is literally this beautiful gully. That is pretty. It's nine in the city And I'm on my way back home Humming on my favorite ditty Swinging like Natalie Cole Alright y'all, so as you can tell, we are back home and hubby went out and got us some Chinese food because <laughs> that place was a bus, okay? <laughs> it did not go well, it did not go as planned, okay? That's why you can't follow Google, alright? Because Google will have you out here looking crazy, alright? When we got there, Google said a lot of places, like it gave us a specific time that places would close 
and when we got there we thought that we would have enough time they were closed early like Google said they would be closed like at five o'clock they were closed at three so we didn't get the chopsticks we didn't eat the food that we wanted like it was just a very frustrating trip and plus it was hot the type of heat that make you question God <laughs> okay it was hot anyway so I got some sweet and sour chicken I got some sweet uh what what is this this is a tofu thingamajiggy like a a tofu marinade is really really good i got some uh marinated cucumbers it's really spicy and i got some fried rice and hubby got a a, a chicken a fried chicken type of thing it's called yulinchi i don't know how to it's taiwan titties are showing it's Taiwan Taiwanese but I know it as a Chinese restaurant okay oh that particular dish is Thai Taiwan no, no, that, that. whole entire restaurant yeah. I always thought it was a Chinese restaurant they were run by Chinese, run by Chinese <laughs> cooking Taiwanese food okay but they got sweet and sour chicken which is Taiwan they have the, uh, which is Chinese they have sweet and sour chicken and they have sweet and sour pork so uh, yeah, the whole trip was just a mess. Like we didn't get through with anything that we wanted to do. Okay, like it was a fail. This is his chicken. Look, it smells so good. So we came back and we were like, we're not in the mood to cook. <laughs> so let's get some takeout. And that's basically what we did. This is the chicken. Ooh, it's dripping. This is the chicken and this is my sweet and sour over here so we're just gonna yeah like that was just a big fail so the reason I'm dressed up like this is because I had some content to fill for Juvia's, Juvia's place they recently came out with some new matte lipsticks <clears throat> oh that's spicy I know it was spicy but that is spicy okay so it's been a minute since I've been to this restaurant because, like I said, we've been trying to eat healthy. Yeah, so we've been trying to eat healthy and eat at home, but today was just one of those days where nobody's cooking, it's late. And I was craving some Chinese. Because we didn't get to eat at the restaurant that we wanted to eat at, which is like a Japanese restaurant. But they were closed, they were closed from 3 o'clock. Google said 5. You know, we didn't get the chopsticks. Everywhere was closed, you know. So this is the previous chopsticks that I got and it has my name. It has my name both in Japanese and in, um, in English. I'm trying to get it to see. So this was the last set that I got. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Hopefully you can. They're really pretty. And because mine is like coated with something, these last very, very long, but hubby's is like worn out. These are like real wood. And they're still good, you know, but they were more of a richer color. So we wanted to upgrade, you know, and if you want to get like real authentic uh, Japanese chopsticks, you don't go to the dollar store because you can get them at the dollar store. But that's not this type of place, you know, like this place gives you like handcrafted chopsticks. So we thought that that would have been fun to carry you guys, but <laughs> a hot mess. Excuse the mess. This is real life, so you're gonna get a cleaning segment soon. <laughs> Such a spicy mm. now. Mm, it's hot, but it's good. Well, we have to try and figure out some indoor activities because, honey, the heat, the heat that is outside, and rainy season. Oh, you know listen for those of you in the caribbean because i know i have a lot of caribbean followers like are you guys okay um i'm watching the news i need to get caught up on what's going on but hurricane yeah hurricane barrel mm -hmm. barrel or something like that is called that category five now mm, mm -hmm. it's big so please you guys stay safe you know uh drop a message let me know that you guys are okay down below are your homes okay like what's going on you know, um, hubby and I went through Ivan together. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of you remember Ivan, but we went through Ivan. 
in Hurricane Jamaica. Ivan in Jamaica. We were in Jamaica, right? And we went through Ivan together. And we were in Clydesdale, which is way up in the mountains of Brownstown, uh, very close to nine miles. So just to give you a, a, a picture. And for those of you, for, the, for my American family, nine mile is basically where Bob Marley came from. So we were in like the realms of Bob Marley's backyard, okay? And Ivan came. And the way Ivan tore up Jamaica. Now we didn't feel it as bad but we went through it because the we had to leave the, the place that we were at we were like at this like countryside home and it was really pretty like it was just built up on the mountain we had uh avocado trees we had what else did we have we had uh, banana trees like it was the land was rich where we were um yeah we, we have history honey and my grandma had come come to look for for me and uh, that was just a hot mess because after it hit Jamaica, it went to the Cayman Islands. For those of you who don't know, I have Jamaican heritage. My bloodline, 100% Jamaican. Well, not 100%, that's a lie. That's the, that's, the, that's the side that I gravitate to. I am half Jamaican and half a lot of other things, okay? My father's side is just a big mix of something that I don't even know what that is, okay? Uh, we got a little bit of everything, a little chips of everything, <laughs> okay? I have a little chips of everything so but I grew up in a Jamaican household you get what I'm saying so anyway so my grandma came to look for me and it tore us up because where we were in this house they had like a basement area but we were not renting the basement area so the basement area was completely closed off but the way that this hurricane was lifting the roof of where we were we had to go downstairs and we had to break in and we cooked with candles <laughs> yeah we cooked with candles we didn't have anything like it was just survival mode and after the hurricane had passed it went to grand cayman now at that time we did not have any information because the the the, the phone power was cut um there wasn't any flights going into grand cayman and it was just a really hot mess so finally one flight opened up so we had to rush her to montego bay for her to get on the flight because she wanted to go home granted i had already left grand cayman i was just you know jamaica was my home now is that in montego bay i, I feel sad we we went to kingston uh, yeah did we go to kingston yeah that's a drive through the back road mm. that's true mm. there was one flight leaving and it was that's true it was Kingston so we uh, went through Kingston uh, to get her home to get her on that one flight that was going into the Cayman Islands at the time and we didn't know it at the time but Hurricane Ivan completely flattened Grand Cayman when I tell you flattened the people were it was just devastated like it was a lot like I heard so much horror stories it was just we couldn't picture it like some of the stories that I heard were just like I don't even know if I can repeat some of that like some of this like some of the graves for example Grand Cayman is flat whereas Jamaica is mountainous okay the land is rich it's mountainous it's you know but Grand Cayman like I said you can't even find it on a map okay if you don't know where it is you ain't gonna find it you see what I'm saying uh, now you have Google Earth to help you Google Earth will take you there but um it's just flat land Okay, Grand Cayman is literally a mountain, one mountain under the water, and just the top is out of the water, and that's Grand Cayman. So when Hurricane Ivan came through, it literally caused like a tsunami in, in a sense, because the way the water rised, a lot of houses were flooded, a lot of places got damaged, all the trees were flattened, graves were turned over, uh, people, the bodies were coming out of the graves. Um, it was just really, really bad, but I was glad that I could get her back home because she would not relax. And that would have just been more stress for me at the time. So, um, trust me, hurricane life. And as a kid, oh, the battery's about to die. As a kid, uh, Gilbert, that was one of another, that was another big uh, hurricane that we went through, but I was a really incy wincy little kid. But as a kid, we were having fun. Like we enjoyed that. <laughs> You know kids already okay we don't know danger so me and my cousins because i was with my cousins at the time i was living with my aunt and my uncle they had a place in uh north side of grand cayman uh, a really beautiful little cottage home but everything just really got uh destroyed 
during Hurricane Gilbert as well as Jamaica so I completely understand what the people are going through with Hurricane Barrel so I just say all that to say I hope you guys are okay and stay safe um, I don't know if I like I said I need to keep up with what's going on in the news because I know she's gonna make it to Jamaica so I'm praying for you guys because I still have people in Jamaica and I don't know if she's gonna make her way over to Grand Cayman you know but that's the situation right now and it's a very serious situation you know because times are hard and plus you have bad weather like girl let me go ahead and eat my food though Mm. So how he just reminded me of a scenario. So where we were staying in uh, Clydesdale in, in St. Anne's, before the hurricane hit, there were these Rastamans. So there was like a little Rastaman shop that we used to go to to get our little, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was like a little convenience store. You know the little shops all over the place. So they were cutting down trees because we knew that the hurricane was going to be big. And they were cutting down trees and they ended up cutting the the power cable so we had lost power way before the hurricane had hit honey we went through some things in Jamaica you hear me we traveled around Jamaica we were like little hippies around Jamaica because both of us never grew up there you know because I didn't grow up in Jamaica I grew up in Grand Cayman of the Cayman Islands in a Jamaican household okay listen But those are some fun times. Mm. When you're young and dumb and you don't know danger. Because Jamaica is not a walk in the park. You know? Jamaica is not to be taken lightly. But we made it through. We started out in the grill. Because that's where we met. I was in Maypen. Okay? I'm going to talk about places that some of you might not know. But you can just go ahead and Google it for the Caribbean people. You can help the rest of them out in the comments. <laughs> I started out in Maypen. And I met this guy, he sells cashews in the grill. He was like, why don't you come to the grill, come to the grill. But I was scared because I was by myself at the time. Finally, we made up our mind because then I had a friend come and uh, visit me from Cayman. He was running from the cops, child. <laughs> he was running from the cops. So we ended up going to um, the grill. My first day pulling up to Negril, I saw him. I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. And we formed a relationship from then. Uh, he went back to Kingston, cause he came from Kingston. Went back to Kingston and around, I think Christmas time, you came back. Anyway, he came back. Child, we were high as a kite. We wouldn't know not mono dates. <laughs> Anyways. So, he came back and um, we formed a friendship from then and we've been together ever since and then we went from Negril to Montego Bay. Bay and that was something we didn't have any water <laughs> so we had to go to the river for everything and that was some uh, that was some of the most Funnest, is that a word? Funnest time in my life because you got to really see how countryside people lived. Uh, everybody used the river for everything. Like they would get the river for cooking water because it was fresh water, it was good water. Uh, they would go down there to bathe, wash their clothes. And we got to really experience all of that firsthand. Like we had to jump into that lifestyle. And we never complained. It was just so much fun. We had a really, uh, and it was beautiful. Like it was hidden. This river was just hidden in the bamboos. It was so good. And then from there, we went to Clydesdale, Brownstown. And then from Brownstown, we went back to Kingston and we stayed in Kingston. We move around in Kingston a lot, but I'm just, I'm just rounding it up basically, you know? Well, we, we, we had a really good time in Jamaica, how we met. When people go through like hard times, people who go through hard times together normally kind of like, you know, form a really good bond and stay together. And that's, I feel like that's what really kind of happened to us. And now I'm in Japan. Never in my life did I think I would ever be in Japan. I was not running from Grand Cayman, by the way. For those of you who don't know, Grand Cayman is a rich Caribbean, Caribbean island, okay? 
um, it's top tier. It's absolutely beautiful. Even though we don't have rivers, we don't have mountains. Uh, cannot compare to Jamaica in beauty, but she's, she has her own beauty. She's really, really beautiful. And I had a really good childhood for the most part until I started to ask certain questions. But, um, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> we had a time. I, I know you ain't over here eating up all the food. Wait a minute. No, sir. Nobody touch this again. He just over here eating up all the food. <laughs> While I'm talking. You're hungry. Hush. But no, sir. Leave some for me. All right, y'all. So we are on the road today. Today is basically restock the house day. Uh, I have to go to the pharmacy, get some stuff, go to the supermarket to get some stuff. Um, I did my freckles again. I think they're super cute. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing today. Let's pretend this isn't my life. Let's pretend it was a great night. Let's pretend that it was real nice. Uh. Let's pretend that it's a movie. Let's pretend that it's a story. Let's pretend that it was glory. Yeah. Cause that's where I do my best work. That's where I see my real work. And fiction, you just can't get hurt. In the imaginary world, yeah, that's where I do my best work. That's where I put myself first. And fiction, you just can't Okay, y'all, so we came back. <sighs> we got a whole bunch of stuff. I got some seaweed. I got some plantain. Okay, so I gotta put these down and make them ripe, but I got me some plantain. Listen, y'all don't understand how happy I am to have plantain. Some of them said that there's no plantain. So what is it? It's plantain, plantain is plantain. Plantain is plantain now. Eh? This is just shorter. It is shorter. Okay, not like in the Caribbean where we have the long one, the big long plantain. No, this but still is plantain. When you cook it and you uh, when you make it ripe and uh, when you cook it down, hmm, plantain. I got some bell peppers, got some ginger, I got some red pepper, uh, red onions, I got my lemons for my lemonade, I got some more seaweed, I got me some sweet potatoes, and I got some bananas for my smoothies, I got some cabbage, I got a baguette because I'm going to be making some tomato soup tonight, just something real, I, I really like tomato soup, like tomato soup is actually really filling. Even though it's just tomatoes, like it's literally, it's the most simplest but 
delicious soup I can make. So I'm going to make that. Also got some cereal. I got some more uh, low calorie, low fat um, dressing, low fat sesame seasoning, uh, sesame dressing. I got low fat mayonnaise and I got some milk. So we got the Kellogg's uh, fiber. You know this one, it's just a lot of fiber. So what we're going to do is mix it up and I like to mix it up all in my little cereal jar right here and then we also got another fiber one but this one has like raspberry and strawberries dried raspberry and strawberries in here which is actually really good just for a little sweetness but still it's a lot more healthy last but not least just the plain bran flakes So three bags of different brand cereals and then I put the top on and mix it up. And it mixes really quickly, everything is nice and mixed up, good to go. My third basket, what did we get? We got some uh, instant soup, more seaweed and I got some chicken, some wings, some beef, steak, some pork and some ground beef and some more seaweed and we got some coffee grinds we went to another place and we got some uh skemono pickled garlic and i got a piece of a watermelon okay next up we got some crackers uh regular salted crackers for my sardines and for my tuna some garbage bags got some cheese some cheddar cheese got some skemono skemono is basically pickles it's literally pickles that's that's all it is i got some onion chips for my salads got some pepper because i ran out you gotta have the hot sauce okay <laughs> i also got some little house things that i need um this is some baking sheet regular baking sheet y'all already know i got some foil paper i also got this this was at the pharmacy by the way you have to go do like separate like the pharmacy supplies certain things and the supermarket supplies certain things but if you want like good household stuff like cleaning supplies and stuff like that it's gonna be the pharmacy anyways I saw this and I was like, I have to get this. It is a two-way sleeping mask, basically. So you can put it, you can put it in the freezer. This is the jelly part. You can put it in the freezer, or you can uh, put it in some hot water, and then you have the mask as, you know, like as a, as a glove. You insert it in through here. And oh, can you imagine how relaxing that could, oh, it's really hot right now and I like to be cool. So I'm actually gonna put this in the freezer and try this out, to, well, not tonight, because I wanna wash this. Bleach pops, okay? I'ma call this bleach pops. I don't know what else to call it. You put it like in the mesh part of the sink and it keeps the sink really, really fresh, basically. I got some more uh, scrubby dubbies for the dishes and stuff like that. This is for the sink make sure it's nice and clean i also picked up some some smell goods for my clothes these are the uh like fabric smelling beads i don't know what you call them girl i've been here so long sometimes i i really don't know no more like what you call stuff um it's the softening beads girl okay so i picked up two two different scents some picks some toothpicks because you always want to make sure the mouth is nice and fresh these are just like the black ones with the little spray and stuff like that i got some toilet freshening thing this is to clean the washing machine like every now and then you want to deep clean your washing machine that is what this does aqua fresh so this is the like the mesh thing so yeah japanese sinks have like this little metal tray or plastic tray and then you put the mesh over it so whenever you're washing food and stuff like that nothing runs down into the sink and gets clogged because they don't have garbage disposal type of sinks over here washing machine cleaning stuff toilet wipes baby wipes I love baby wipes they don't really sell feminine wipes over here it's the baby wipes so if you want 
to keep fresh and clean. You get the baby wipes, but you get the flushable ones, okay? So I always buy the flushable ones. So I picked up three packs of those. Last but not least, mouthwash. People in therapy are often there to deal with people in their lives who won't go to therapy. I have a job, it's actually quite fulfilling. Though my hairline is thinning, I barely do anything else. I read several books, I do meditation, walks in the woods, a new destiny. So, um, as you can tell, it is nighttime, and still, I've been in the house looking. I've just been loving the whole freckle thing. Um, I'm sorry if you can't really see that right now, but anyway, so I'm actually gonna have like a little foot spa because my foot, um, I'm gonna show you in a minute. It's probably been about like six months since I've done my feet. Yeah we go long girl like really had them done like you know like soaking them in water having a good scrub and all of that so hubby's gonna actually scrub them for me normally whenever i do get like a really good 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 foot spa type of treatment he does it for me and then i just maintain like in the shower with the regular foot scrub whenever you shower and stuff like that but uh yeah that's what we're getting ready to do um the weather is still a hot mess but we're just pushing through uh, we've been in the house all day we really haven't done anything so we're getting ready to do to do this so i figured i would just share that with you and i don't know if you can tell but while i was on my period i completely rearranged my whole entire apartment <laughs> okay tell me you're going through it without telling me you're going through it so i moved the, the, the couch from over here to over there um it used to be over there but not in this particular like setup with the book stand and the, and the, the, the trees and all of that but uh yeah so he's making it all nice for me and we're just gonna sit down and have some quality time and relax and do my feet. I have my candle going and this is where we normally do it. So we have some mats right here to catch any dry skin, dead skin, you all know how it go, and some water. And I have, I'm gonna be sitting right here on the little couch thing. I'm gonna be watching my little show. 
um say hey to yogi y'all already know um i put these two little pillows right here so i can have some height you know like when they do in the salon so it makes it easier for him so uh yeah there's my little foot thing and i'm gonna get the actual salts that i use oh he has it already so i just use like these little bath salts and i put it in there and i just soak so uh who is this from yeah, so I, I get this little lavender bath salt type of thing, and I just soak my feet in it. It's just, it smells good, and yeah, I'll leave it in my Amazon storefront. So this is what my heels are looking like after six months. This is mostly my trouble spot right here. Uh, for the rest of the feet, they're normally okay. It's just really right here. Um, yeah find something to watch like a old ooh that's nice and hot ooh that's hot <laughs> i think it's okay <laughs> Yeah. 